When all my slots are empty, you better fill me up. I smile for joy when I see that big old truck. There's a little Hey everybody, welcome to Bevner. This is the ep big episode, episode 40, four, zero, on Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday, March 18, 2011. And boy, uh, I'm sure you love my uh, Rebecca Black rendition. And uh, are you ready for some fun, 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 Bevnerdians? Because I believe we have fun, fun, fun going your way today. We're going to try some cool things. We're going to go over the... Um, the national U.S. soda rankings in sales uh, by brand and soda flavor. Um, it's kind of a shocking thing what we see on there. I'm going to tell you how to win a soda stream. This is chance number three. We're going to be giving away a soda stream soda lovers package on April 1st, 2011. And this week you're going to get two chances to enter this wing for two chances. Um, we're going to announce who wins the bag of jalapeno ranch. Popcorn Indiana chip ins. Uh, we had lots of lots of people turn out for that. I'm excited. Um, blah blah blah. Um, also, uh, go to bevnerd.com for all your old episodes and other things. Facebook.com/slash bevnerd for the community. It's growing over 400 strong. Uh, Twitter.com/slash bevnerd if you want to hear about what things that I drink. Uh, funny pictures I might upload through the day. All that fun stuff. And I want to thank Bud's Best Cookies. Um, next month, April, they're letting me go into their factory, take a tour with my camera, and make an episode that's, you know, really cool, uh, in-depth. Get to tour the factory, try some cookies, interview some important people over there. It'll be my first, like, in-depth episode like that. That should be pretty darn cool. Um, but hey, listen, what are we going to try today? It's about that time I tell you. Um, got these at, whole, at World Market. Beer chips! Chips made with... Beer! That should be pretty awesome. Uh, the drink today is Bundaberg Peachy, also from World Market. I got a four pack for $2.99. That's pretty awesome as well. And we're going to try one of the items I got from my friend Sam in Japan and his website, www.deviatecag.com. Uh, you know, in the news, Japan's not doing so hot, whether it's earthquakes or um, the threat of nuclear winter. And stuff like that. So, um, if you can, if you have a couple extra shekels, go to redcross.org. Or, if you're a member of the Cheap Ass Gamer community, go to cheapassgamer.com and there's a link to donate. And Cheapy D himself will match up to $10,000, which I think he's met already in like three days. So, uh, bravo. I'll be throwing um, some dollars their way as well. Um, but, if you want to support an individual who's a nice guy, who's sometimes down on his luck, but it does a really good job and is a really cool guy, Sam, go to deviatecag.com and you can buy um, action figures, manga, DVDs, toys, video games, and you can request special items like um, this Pretz, the Cheese Kit Kat bars, and um, the Baob Pepsi and Pepsi Power Shot. Anything, anything you want. Use women's panties, I'm sure he'll find it. There's probably some laying around anyways. <sighs> anyways, let's go over the soda rankings for 2009 to 2010. Uh, we're going to start at number 10 being the number 10th, and number 1 to be the number 1. Um, in 10th place is Fanta by Coke. Number 9, Diet Dr. Pepper. Number 8, Diet Mountain Dew. Number 7, Diet Pepsi. Number 6, Sprite. Number 5, Dr. Pepper. 4, Mountain Dew. Number 3 and number 2 is a shocker. We have actually got one product falling to number 3 and one product going up from number three to number two. Falling one spot to number three is Pepsi Cola. So, why are you slacking? Drink Pepsi. Um, number two, a shocker, I thought. Number two is Diet Coke. Really? People drink that much Diet Coke? And number one is Coke. So that's not shocking there, but Diet Coke, really? Come on, there's way better drinks out there than that. Anyways, yikes, yikes. Pew, 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 shooting from the hip on this episode of Bevner. <gasps> Uh, let's try something. All right, here we are with Japanese imported item from show sponsor DeviateCag.com, Pretz. Um, these look like sticks on the package. I can see some bacon or some sort of meat and black pepper with a pepper grinder. Fresh pepper? Anybody? Fresh pepper? It's got a tear thing to open it.
and dump some of these sticks out. Oh wow! These sticks are short tiny and um, oh wow, I actually thought they would be bigger but they're actually actual size, actually, actually. <laughs> that smells like bacon and pepper. Mmm, smells good. It smells like real bacon. Right, let me close my eyes. Wow, that smells like fresh bacon. Except it doesn't stink the whole house up. Let's try it. All right, I've got my pretz open. It smells fantastic. Definitely smells like fresh bacon and a little hint of pepper. Let's try these sticks. I wish these were bigger. I'm gonna have to like grab a couple of these. These are good. Um, definitely uh, like these. Um, the bacon flavor is more subtle than the aroma, which that's fine. Not really tasting a lot of pepper taste, but um, you get the crunchiness and the crispness of like the pretzel stick, which is also a little bit salty too. So it makes, me meshes with the bacon really nice because who loves, I love salty bacon. I also like peppered bacon, which I can tell a little bit now, like an aftertaste. Sorry, there's a hornet flying outside, that scared me. Um, gotta say, if you want to try pretz and you order stuff from deviatecag.com, you can request this. Wonderful little treat. Um, highly recommend it, it's good. Hmm, tasty. Another thing that I like, it comes with a lot in there. Can you see that a little bit? See, it comes with a lot in there. What I like about this, it's resealable. It's got like a Ziploc on the top and keeping them fresh and they won't go stale. So Pretz, thumbs up. Uh, I believe this is bacon and pepper flavored and they are good. Um, but also, I'm going to announce who won this week's contest for Popcorn Indiana, Jalapeno Ranch, Yummy Yummy Yummy, Delicious Much, Chip-Ins. And the winner of that this week is, drum roll please, or horse gallivanting, <laughs> um, dun -dun -dun, Aaron New. So congratulations to you, Aaron New. This is what I did there. Uh, email me at bevnerd at gmail.com with your mailing address, and I won't stalk you, but I will send you some delicious chip-ins. Not those, because those aren't broken. This bag back here. Anyways, let's try beer chips. Here we are with beer chips. Um, it's a brand of thick-cut, kettle-style chips made by Beer Chips LLC. They have a heavy coating of sugar and salt and are covered in beer. My favorite! These chips are non-alcoholic. Oh. As the alcohol is removed during the making, um, as you can see, it's in a big bag. It says beer chips, potato chips made with beer, nine ounces, and it's only tested on humans. And I'm a human. Are you a human? Yes. Open these up. Ooh. Dump them on a plate. Hey, those are pretty neat looking. Um, they're kettle cooked chips. Which, you know, they're all irregular shaped. All lots of fun. Let's smell them. <sighs> um, they smell like plain potato chips. I don't smell beer. Um, smell a little bit of salty. Uh, don't smell anything sweet. But my mouth is salivating, so that's obviously a good sign. So, let's try them. Alright, here I am now with the beer chips, but what are beer chips? I'm reading from the back, so. What are beer chips? Potato chips made with beer, parent, parentheticals, not to be confused with beer made with potatoes. Beer chips are snacks. Beer chips won't make you drunk, but they might make you more interesting, so that's good. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, how do I eat beer chips? Number one, open mouth. Number two, insert beer chips. Uh, number three, swallow. Four, repeat. Gotta say, these are very interesting tasting. 
and very good. They're like super crispy. The potato cut isn't too thick to where I don't like it, it doesn't get too greasy. Um, they're sweet from the sugar, they're salty. Um, the beer isn't overwhelming, so if you don't like beer, um, you still may like this chip because it's not overwhelming. So it's like drinking a beer, let's say like a Sharps non-alcoholic, but you don't have to have the bad taste. You can have the good taste in the beer chips. Uh, the ingredients are potatoes, sunflower and or corn oil, sugar, maltodextrin, beer, it doesn't say what brand, but it says in parentheticals, malted barley, corn syrup, hops and yeast, salt, honey, interesting, and yeast extract made by Beer Chips in Portland, Oregon, beerchips.com. Got this from Wall Market. These are really good. I very, very highly recommend beer chips. They are not what you would think at all and it's all the good things that you think it may be. Sweet, salty, super crispy, just a hint of beer, not skunky beer or anything. Good beer. Gotta say, A++ beer chips. I'm gonna eat the whole bag. Nom nom nom. I like these a lot. Let's uh, drop some, but that's okay. Lulu would love to eat it. But don't go just yet, because I'm gonna tell you how you can enter in for week three, the third chance to win the Soda Stream Soda Lovers Contest. And this week I'm giving you a bonus. You can enter this twice. Way to enter in number one. And this is the Twitter edition. This is the Twitter way to enter. Step number one, we gotta have Twitter. Step number one, follow at BevNerd and at SodaStream. You have to follow us both for it to work. Number two is you post a tweet about being a soda lover and include at BevNerd, at SodaStream, and hashtag BevNerdContest somewhere in there. You have to have all three. It's the easiest way for me to track it. I'll see those pop up in my seismic and then I'll save it. Um, okay, that's for chance number one. Chance number two is for the Facebook fans and you can do both of these. You can do both for two entrants. First, join Facebook. Um, you like BevNerd Video Podcast and SodaStream individually. You gotta like us both or it won't work. Number two, Post a comment on Soda Stream's wall. The post has to state how you are a huge soda lover and you found out about the Soda Stream machine through BevNerd. You must at tag BevNerd Video Podcast. That means you hit at and start typing in BevNerd and it'll pop down. You click it, it'll make a link to my page. That's the only way I can track it because it pops up in my feed too. So you must at tag BevNerd Video Podcast so I can find it. You can do both of those this week and that's how you enter, and you'll get two entrants into the Soda Stream Soda Lovers Contest this week. <sighs> I'm thirsty. Let's try some Boondaberg. All right, here we are with our drink of the day, Boondaberg Peachy. Uh, let's see, Boondaberg Peachy is made by Boondaberg. I just like saying that. Brew Drinks, it's an Australian-based, family-owned soft drink manufacturer located in, guess what, Boondaberg, Queensland. Bundaberg's production includes traditional brewing processes like beer, but the final product is non-alcoholic. Let's open it up and we'll try it. Oh, a little bit of carbonation. It's in a twist top, so it's kind of cool. It's like a bottle cap, but you can also reseal it, so that'll probably leave in lots of good stuff. Um, not the color I would have imagined. I thought it would be more peach color, but it's kind of looking like a ginger beer, which they also, that's what they're really famous for. Ah. Oh. It kind of smells, it definitely smells like peach. But I also smell like, like if it's, like if it was brewed beer or fermented. Mmm, that's really cool. And very interesting. Um, let's see. 5% peach juice. I'm thirsty. How about you, kids? Are you ready I for some fun? Put uh -huh. the cap back on, right, so I'm let's going try to unscrew it. it. But uh, I like the bottle cap. It's metal. It's black, and it has Bundaberg on it. Mmm, mm, that's really good. It's very smooth. 
Um, the carbonation is good. It's there. It's not overwhelming. It's not really. It's not super fizzy. Um, it's like weird. It's, it really. I can really taste the peach juice in it. Like if you just poured a glass of peach juice and carbonated it, it kind of tastes like that. But it's not thick. Um, the soda is good. It's like a good peach soda, but it tastes like real peach, not that artificial flavoring peach crap. Um, gotta say, this is very nice too. It says Bundaberg Peach uses real peach nectar to create a unique peach taste. This refreshing full body flavor makes Bundaberg Peachy the perfect drink all year round. Ingredients are carbonated water, cane sugar, that's a plus, peach brew, which is in parentheticals, peach fruit, sugar, yeast, citric acid. It's got peach fruit 5%, citric acid to make it, you know, tangy a little bit. Uh, flavors. What's flavors? Uh, sodium benzoate, uh, antioxidant stabilizer, whatever. Um, you can go to their website, it's bundaberg.com. This is good. I'm glad I got a four pack for only $2.99. It was on sale. It might be higher than that, but these were close to going out of date and these are delicious. And stuff in glass bottles just tend to really rock. Highly recommended. Very, very high. This may be the best peach soda I've ever had. I mean, compared to, like, I've probably had, like, Neha, um, um, the one I really hate right now because it makes me mad because it's always flat, is uh, Nesbitt's Peach. What the, what the crap? It's it's fake peach tasting, and it's always flat when I get one, and there's Sunkiss Peach. This is the best. This is the real deal. It's, like, good. Anyways, I, I must like this. Do I like this or something? Jeez. Okay, let's wrap up this week's episode of BevNerd. Um, uh, let's see. I talked about the contest. Um, I, I want to talk to you about me being an internet hobo. If you like what I do, go to bevnerd.com and click how to help. There's various links to pages and products and services that I use personally and that we use at the Coleman residence. Um, if you use these things like GoDaddy for 749 domain names, there's uh, iTunes, we buy stuff off there. Um, DeviateCat.com, really, help this guy out. Um, he just told me, and, and, and Cheap Ass Gamer, that he's expecting a second child. So buy some stuff from him. Help him out. Um, there's some other stuff. But if you want to donate, there's a PayPal link on there. You can donate via a secure method on PayPal. They're good people. So if you want to do that, that's great. Or if you just want to watch the video, just check out bevner.blip.tv. That's where um, the videos play in good quality. It's got a brief ad beginning. There might be like one at the bottom. Or whatever but that helps out too they throw me a little bit of money anyways let's wrap up this week's episode um you know good luck to everybody congratulations to aaron for winning we'll see you next week bye to bye